come on in, come on in. Thank you all so much for being here. For anybody new here, hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. I would like to welcome you to yet another struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef, nor am I a professional YouTuber. I am just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. Today we are making cabbage rolls. I saw a video online I'm going to share with you all. I'm not going to do the full recipe. I'm going to kind of doctor it up. Uh, I do enjoy cabbage. You can eat it a variety of ways. You can eat cabbage as a substitute for lettuce, like in a sandwich. If you want something with more fiber, a little bit more roughage, you can steam it. In the man food video I made yesterday, uh, saute it. You can make coleslaw out of it. So I've got a head of cabbage in the fridge. So we're going to follow this recipe and we're going to see if we can make some sheets, some cabbage roll sheets, like a vehicle to put other stuff in. Now the recipe was for vegetarian. I'll make a vegetarian version, but uh, I know we got some meatitarians in the house. If you want to see me also make a non-veggie version, a meat version, find the meat emoji and put it in the chat. So we're going to take attendance. If you would like to be counted present, feel free to announce yourself. However, if you prefer to watch quietly from the clouds, y'all know who you are. You're always welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family friendly side of Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Oh, we got Katrinda in the house. Hello, uh, Dr. Katrinda is here. Please put your book title and website in the chat and I will pin it so everyone can support Amazon best-selling author, a dear friend of mine, and I put you down as a reference for Marcus. We got AJ in the house. We got OG, Kush, Ari. We got Nathani, material, a material. A material world. We got material girl in the house. Hello, 999. Hello, Big Franks. And hello, The Office. Thank you so much for being here. All right, on TikTok, let me wipe down the counters. Who do we have? I see Jan. I see Lauren. Isa or Ilsa. Uh, T. Frazier, Robin, Eunice. T. Frazier liked the live. Thank you so much for all the likes. Kathy, Westpat, Henry, uh, Jonathan, user, Susan, user 97, Nikki, Grace, mom, Chris, Ty, I'm a mom, Mary, user Elaine, Aunt May, DYL413, user Sean and Wilbur. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, Yate the Great. We got Jurgen in the house from across the pond. <laughs> I knew it. I knew my Mediterranean was in the house. Shout out to you in Germany. Just had a travel meeting. Marcus is flying out Thursday. Swim Shady is doing his school trip. I'm a mom, two teenage boys, 14 and 16. And Marcus took French. So the foreign language department, the French students are going to Paris and the Spanish students are going to Barcelona. Everybody's going everywhere, but getting the last minute things together and he's connecting in Frankfurt. So I thought of you again, uh, Jurgen. Hello, E4. We got Lisa, Lisa in the house. Head to toe. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. I know. Lisa, Lisa and Cult Jam is here. Yes, y'all know. Um, I have musical outbursts, so uh, we're going to clean the counter. We're going to uh, show the video, then I'm going to get the cabbage out and we're going to steam it and um, we'll do some veggies. I'm just going to use what I have in the fridge and uh, you all can uh, make whatever substitutes that you like. I am your substitute teacher because I cook with sugar substitutes, dairy substitutes, and gluten substitutes. All right. But I always say I'm not the food police, so do whatever works for you. All right, everybody, <clears throat> happy Tuesday. I hope y'all are doing well. Hello, 1982 Queen on TikTok. Thank you for being here. Hope everybody is doing well. It is my joy to cook for you all. Like I say, I've been cooking since 1842. <laughs> I'm the daughter of a retired home economics teacher, so this is all I know. Well, I know other things, but y'all know what I mean. All right. Couldn't decide what I was uh, going to make today. I never know. Y'all know those cooking shows where everything is planned out and prepared in advance. This is not that. We wing it here. I live stream every day and we figure it out together. So if you like it, stick around. Um, update. I just posted to my members on YouTube. If you all are interested in being a Maggie member, you get early advance notice and some other stuff. I am going back to LA for another YouTube event next month. So stay tuned if you want to know more about that. Okay. So this recipe, and as always, I link it in the description. The site is Table Diary, and then it has some Asian uh, characters. Maybe that's just the translation. I don't know. But the title says, I ate 
this, I'm sure they meant these vegetable rolls every day and lost 10 kilo. Well, hello. I've been on a health and wellness journey like a lot of y'all. You know, if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic, you need to lose weight. Um, you know, I'm not a doctor, do what works for you, but I'm always looking for ways that I can enjoy the food that I have to eat because <laughs> it's a struggle, but we have fun here. Lisa's laughing. Jurgen says, I don't like vegetarians. They eat away the food from my food. Jurgen, we know our straight carnivore in the house. We got Christina in the house. Hello, my dear. Okay, so I am going to, this is one of those ASMR videos. So you'll just hear the chopping sounds, maybe some music. Um, so I'll play it from the beginning. It's a three minute video. He's gonna start or they're gonna start by making the sauce. I'm gonna use some of my own sauces. Y'all can let me know. But if you like Asian flavors, today we're doing that ginger and that sesame and soy sauce. I'll, I'll give you a substitute. That's what we're gonna be doing today. We got Belle in the house. Hello, my dear. One of my day one scholars in the chat. Okay, so let's watch this together. Let me give you some sound. Oh, did I not? Oh. So he's dipping it on there right for you, dipping it, ooh, crunchy. All right, I like the presentation too. All right, so this is the sauce. We're gonna skip this, but he's making his own sauce with grinding sesame seeds and putting yogurt and mayo and lemon juice for a little tart. Get you right here. <laughs> then some salt. Stir it up, stir it up. And then you're gonna refrigerate that until you're ready to eat. You can really do any dipping sauce you like. Okay, so this is what got my attention. We've got a big old head of cabbage and he's cutting off the four ends to make it flat like a square. And then he's peeling off 10 sheets of cabbage. I wonder if that's too bright for y'all. And we're gonna put it in a dish. We're gonna put some water on it, cover it with plastic wrap. Do I have plastic wrap? poke some holes in it, microwave it for four minutes, and we have steamed cabbage leaves, all right? So I'm gonna stop there. The rest of the video, I'll let it keep playing, but the rest of the video is all of the fillings, but I love this. If you are um, trying to get more vegetables, what I always say is, um, like getting the kids to eat more fruit, serve it with their food, you know, have it visible. But like when you use vegetables as a vehicle, then you're eating the vegetables to get to the other stuff you want. So you could make this, my mind just started going a vegetarian version. You could put like barbecue chicken in there. Um, we'll do some ground meat, uh, some Asian inspired. How else would y'all make them? Hello, CM Michelle. Okay. So let me get my apron on and then we are going to get the cabbage out and see if we can get these sheets. Because the mistake I've always made when I try to roll cabbage, when you have the whole leaf and it's kind of curled like this and you know it has that vein down the middle, it's like you try to roll it and it, it pops, it kind of uh, tears. So have I ever made this before? No, why would I do that? <sighs> So we're gonna do it together. Christina says, you love that idea? Okay, Lisa says, this is one way you steam asparagus. Yes, you could put veggies in veggies. So I'm gonna let this play. I'll go back to the beginning and let this play. Let the music play. And I'll get my uniform on, we'll get the cabbage out. And uh, let me turn the brightness down so y'all can see. And then we will try to recreate that. For me, if I can get the sheets, that's the goal, right? You love it? Okay. So let's see. All right. And yes, we have Maggie merch. You can find me on Only Pans because you will never find me on Only Fans, or as Lucy calls it, Only Fools. <laughs> Shout out to me and Lucy. Um, I make food and femininity content here. So today is a cooking stream. Tomorrow, Lucy and I will be back. Luke Hazley and I are the founders of the Finishing School for the Modern Woman, where we teach ladies of all ages how to be the best version of themselves with elegance, with etiquette, with femininity. Um, we're coming up on our graduation. I just went today and picked up the trophies. Oh my God, they're so the ladies are flying into Atlanta. We're gonna have a wonderful weekend for them. We're kicking off the weekend with happy hour and all y'all are welcome. Shout out to the South, all y'all. Here's the apron. So this is um, standard. We have kid sizes, standard, and then long. You can customize it for free. We have multiple colors. You can um, 
put your name on it and all that stuff. Of course, I'm messing up my shirt a little bit. It looks kind of janky. All right. All right, y'all. Uh, hello, uh, Grissom, uh, A-Rock, uh, Cuban. Hello, Nathaniel. Hello, everybody coming in. So you can get your tickets for the Maggie Lou happy hour. They're still available. We're going to have bottomless sangria. We're going to have nine rounds of appetizers. All are welcome. That's going to be Friday, April 5th at Eclipse de Luna, which is a Spanish tapas restaurant. So small plates and appetizers. So mix, mingle, network. Y'all, I'm struggling. Okay. You already know. Okay, what are we doing? Cabbage. You need a cutting board. So you all know me. The first time I make a recipe, I always make it their way. And then after that, I... Um, do my own thing. We can doctor it up. Thank you, Victoria, for the beautiful cutting board. I got it greased up with a little bit of coconut oil after I wash it. That's why I'm putting it on my hands. Hello, Marilyn. Thank you so much for being here. Bonnie Young is in the house. Ooh, Vel says you would stuff it with seasoned rice and avocado. Yes, y'all, you could make like your, um, think spring rolls, but you know, the spring rolls we make in rice paper, rice, rice, baby, Let's roll. Let's roll. Um, I'll show you all that. I know what you mean, sweetheart. You love anything Asian flavored. Um, but if you're really trying to cut carbs, maybe cut the calories. If this holds up for us, uh, I'll just keep playing it. If this holds up for us, this could be a low carb or zero carb uh, vehicle for whatever you want to put in it. Yes, rice. Or if you're doing veggies, you could do cauliflower rice. That's a great idea. Okay, I've used these before. You can get them in brown rice. You can also get them in uh, white rice. Hello, official. Thank you so much for being here. Y'all can get these in your grocery store in the Asian um, Asian uh, section. But you see how you can make these little spring rolls. You can eat them like room temperature or you can like air fry or pan fry them. Um, but it's still, it's gluten free because it's rice, gluten comes from wheat. So when you think dough, that's gluten. So it's gluten-free, but it's still, uh, you know, 14 carbs per two rats. I don't really count all that stuff. I'm just trying to get the rest of this weight off, y'all. If I would sit my hips down somewhere, I would. Hello, love, Dante. How's everybody doing? Ooh, Christina would put habanero rice. Absolutely. Belle says Trader Joe's has the Bex Mexican cauliflower style rice. Don't laugh at me, y'all. I have never been to a Trader Joe's. We have them here in Atlanta when, why did I forget her name? I'm looking at her right now. Oh my gosh, we went to the uh, Four Seasons brunch. Randy, when Randy came, I wanted to go to Trader Joe's, but we ate so much. We just came to Waddle, Waddle Home. Patty Play Lottery says, thank you, Maggie, for bringing us normal. I love it. Absolutely. Y'all, look. I am well aware there is a lot going on in the world and on the internet. But for me, number one, selfishly, I'm really making what I'm eating for dinner or whatnot. So this is not like a show. I mean, we have fun, but like I'm really cooking for me or the family. And uh, speaking of family, um, I have a lot of accomplishments, but being a mom is utmost to me and my kids watch and your kids watch. And um, I want to look back on the memories that we create and be proud of myself and all of you all. So I am very intentional about what I do online and what I don't do. And that's all I'll say. Hello. Oh, Terrell, I was thinking about you, Spiffy. I was thinking about you. How is our principal doing? It's been a while. Good to see you. I have to go to Trader Joe's. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa and Cult Jam. Why don't we go together? You owe me a date for tea, remember? So maybe we can go to Trader Joe's together. 1982 says great energy, thank you. Okay, let's get the cabbage. All right. So this came in the giveaway box. Now, admittedly, my cabbage is not as big as his. It looks like a small bowling ball, like I'm holding it in my hand, probably about the size of like a mini watermelon, about the size of my head. Uh, Claire says, I love to watch your cooking and you've never been to Trader Joe's either. Okay, well, maybe I should go and make content. The first time I went to Whole Foods, I was like a kid in a candy store. I was like, wow, 
I'm out in the suburbs, y'all. We've got, you know, Publix, Walmart, Kroger, all of that. You got to go into the city to get the fancy schmancy stuff. And I still get the giveaway boxes. That's where this cabbage came from. So anyway, focus, Maggie. All right. So let's see if we can uh, close this up the way he did. So if you all remember the video, if I can go back to it. Okay. So I'm not going to wash it. Usually, I guess I'll go ahead and wash it. Do I wash first and then cut it and then wash the leaves or do, let me just wash it. I'm struggling. <laughs> Let's do both. Okay, my dear, let me know when so I can tell uh, the dirty tea we're coming for our uh, tea party. All right, so I'm just going to rinse this and then we're going to cut into squares. All right. Now, ideally, if you have a big head of cabbage, the bigger the... Um, the bigger the cabbage, the bigger surface area you'll be able to get to roll. Roll with it, baby. Come on and just roll with it, baby. Okay, just had to get that out. Rosa says, love the kitchen. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, my dream home. I appreciate it. I'm very grateful. Elijah's in the house. Okay. So, see, he's got a cabbage that's like like a big watermelon. I got a cabbage that's about a mini watermelon, but I still wanted to try it. So let's get a sharp knife, chef's knife. Okay, so again, if you didn't see the video, let me just go back so you all can see. They're getting... All right, okay, yeah, we, we saw that. We made the sauce. So what I'm gonna try and do, huge cabbage, and we're gonna cut off the four rounded edges. So we're going to have a square size piece in the middle. That's how we get the sheets to come off clean. That is the goal. Let's see if I can do it. Hello, Nika. Thank you so much for being here. We got Conquer It with Drea's in the house. Hello, my dear. Okay. So I think to be, I'm just going to cut off the, the stem so that I can kind of have it flat. That's another safety tip. Safety tip: If you're cutting anything that's got like a wheeled edge, you don't want to apply pressure and then it rolls and you have an accident. So you can always just kind of cut, give yourself a flat area so that it'll actually stay. Okay, so some of the leaves are coming off already. I'm just gonna put them on this wet paper towel. Let's see, let's get a bowl or something, a square. This is the stuff that I dream up, okay. So I'm just gonna peel until it stops peeling. Okay, this looks like lettuce cups. Y'all know, what is it? P.F. Chang lettuce wraps. You can actually do it with cabbage too. It's going to be give you more, um, more substance, more roughage. Okay, so let's see. This one's got a little, all right. So let's see if we can go straight down here. I may have more rectangle than square. Two. And we can save these pieces and like slice this up for like shredded um, slaw or you could actually put it inside. You know how like pork rinds are pork skin fried in the pork fat. Y'all, they didn't waste anything back in the day. Anyway, I digress. Be gentle with the cut. Like if you come too far in, then you've already taken that part off. So I'm just going kind of close to the edge. And if it's, if it doesn't peel evenly, I can always come back and make another slice. So we've got three straight edges. All right. I wish these videos, I wish I could get it to like autoplay, but, and now my hands are wet. Y'all are coming in. We'll do one last time. Okay. All right. It's not perfect. And I see now I need to go smaller because I don't have like a perfect sheet. So actually, I don't want to come all the way in. Y'all see what I'm doing. We're just making this up if I, as I go. Have I ever made this before? No. Why would I do that? Okay. So now he says peel off about 10 sheets. So my sheets are about the size of my hand. So we'll do some smaller rolls. But 
if this works, you know, when cabbage is on sale and you get that big cabbage, you can um, give this a try. So I'm trying to peel without tearing and it seems like it's working pretty well. Is that one sheet? Yeah. All right. So we're going to steam them and then uh, I'm assuming they'll stay kind of soft. One, two, three, four. So big enough to kind of roll. Now mine aren't perfectly square, but y'all will be all right. We got Coco Rose in the house. <laughs> oh, y'all like my singing? We got Jay Strickland in the house saying, hey sis, bring me some to the hospital. Oh no, I'm so sorry, what happened? If you care to share, I mean, well, you put it on here. I hope you're okay, Godspeed your recovery. I'm so sorry, uh, Lady Crib and uh, I would absolutely. I ship food all the time. I would actually bring you some if you're in the hospital. I don't know if you're here in Atlanta or whatever, but I hope you're well. I'm just carefully peeling it because it's kind of a ball, so I don't want to tear it. All right. I'm just going to do a few more. Some of the sheets are like the whole head. Some of them are a little different shaped, but... And if I get a little piece like that, I'm not going to, we'll just save that for, this could be a nice little side dish, chop it up. Ebony says, what are you making? I'm gonna make some cabbage rolls, my dear. Hello, Coco, sounds good. Oh no, you got the flu and pneumonia. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Being sick is the worst. It's been years. I remember I got the flu in high school. I've never had it since then, but I think the boys have had it. Oh, and then that pneumonia, that's nothing to play with. So please do what the doctors say and take care of yourself. You will, we will be here. Y'all can watch without listening. You can listen without watching. I think we're done. I'm gonna see if I can get one more, but it's starting to get hard to peel. You can watch without listening. You can listen without watching. Um, Y'all can leave early or come late. All right. I think that's the last one we're gonna do. All right, so the recipe says get 10 sheets. So mine aren't perfectly square, but I think we got enough to fill and roll. All right, so let's um, move this for a second and we'll give these another rinse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight. Okay, so now we I'll give these a little rinse. Um, yeah, it won't hurt because we're gonna steam them in the microwave. So I'm gonna give these a little rinse, rinse the whole thing, and then we'll get a bigger dish. We're gonna cook them for four minutes and see if we can make little cabbage rolls. And if it works, then we have a very pliable, um, we move the knife for safety. Uh, we have a very pliable, um, I was gonna say sandwich option, but y'all know what I mean. So yeah, if you're trying to use um, the outside of the lettuce, here's a good one, for example. I've made the mistake trying to use these, but when you try to roll them, this vein in the middle, it'll break. So what I've seen people do, I'm not gonna do it, we're gonna do this recipe, is just cut a slit. So like cut a slit on both sides of the vein and take out the vein so you can roll it. All right, I've seen that too. So we don't have to waste. We will not um, waste that. Okay, so now we need a dish and we're going to lay them flat. And I think it was 60 grams of water. So we'll just, I think that's like, I've got a little measuring cup. All right, so you all can see. He's got some other veggies in there. I've got mushroom. I've got this cabbage here. I've got green onion. So we'll do some more chopping. So yeah. You can make your own sauce. What would y'all use for a dipping sauce? Um, soy sauce, hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, all that good stuff. Oh, Jay says you're up the street. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, if you're up the street, you can inbox me. And uh, if you want some uh, veggie version or meat version. All right, so this is what we did. Has anybody ever seen a cabbage that huge? All right, so you can see he's got some nice big old sheets. All right, so I tried my best. 10 sheets of cabbage. And then we're going to get a tray, 
kind of lay them in there, 60 grams of water and cover with plastic wrap poke holes. Y'all know I always forget steps. So y'all remind me of this when I get distracted. And then four minutes later, when we open it up, we should have that. All right. So let's get a container, a microwavable container, and we'll get all the fillings in a second. He had like a rectangular dish. My microwave has a turntable. Oh, there y'all are. My microwave has a turntable. So I want something that uh, will turn, turn around. All right. So we are going to put our sheets in here and I'm just gonna kind of lay them, not directly on top of each other, but you're gonna have to kind of overlap a little bit. All right, so these are eight sheets. And if I can get four, you know, hey, I don't like when the, um, I love my counters, but I don't like the noise. So I'll just put a wet paper towel down. There we go. All right. So we have, I'm going to add two of the big ones and just see if it helps with that vein thing I was talking about. Let me rinse these off and just add them. All right. So we've got that. Now we need 60 grams of water. Hello, uh, Usandi and Phoenix. All right, so 60 grams of water. Shout out to the US system. What is 60 grams? Um, let's call it 60 milliliters, two ounces. Okay, so it's a quarter cup. So you're gonna put just enough water to kind of steam them in the microwave. All right, so we're just gonna put water over all of this. All right, so literally just that much. And then plastic wrap. You think I would've checked if I had plastic wrap? I hope I have some. Inspired one says yum, Christina says yes. I forgot what I asked already. Okay. So I have some cling wrap. Let's see if it works. Y'all know this stuff gets rolled up on it on itself and it's a, a mess. I think on cooking at Pam's place, she says, if you keep your cling wrap in the freezer, I've never done this. I don't know if y'all know any hacks. She says, if you keep it in the freezer, then it won't, um, you know, stick to itself. But I don't use plastic wrap very often, but let's see if we can. All right, perfect. So you always wanna go over, I learned this the hard way, you always wanna go over, you know, to give you some folding space because it'll kind of tear like that. Okay, so let's kind of fold that over so we can make a nice little steam pocket. That's what we wanna do. And then let me get a um, either a toothpick or like the little uh, bamboo skewers all right, so I just want to get it kind of tight on here. Tuck it up and tuck it under. All right, so we've got it covered with plastic and there's water in there. You can get these from the dollar store, these little bamboo skewer skewers. We had these the last time. What were you making with Marcus? Hello to me with Marcus. Hello, Jared. Um, the, what was that candy in the sugar? Tagaloo? Tangulu, hello Charles on uh, TikTok. All right, so he's gonna poke some holes in there. So let me see if I can get it taut. Almost like TV dinners, which I don't eat. Nothing wrong with it, but I try to cook for my, myself and the family. You know how they say, poke the foil. Okay, so we've got 10 cabbage leaves, a little bit of water, quarter cup of water, plastic wrap, holes, and then it says microwave for four minutes, okay? Four minutes, four minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on. Four minutes, four minutes. Oh my gosh, y'all, one of these days, I'm gonna be normal. Today is not that day. <laughs> okay, four minutes. <laughs> All right. I can't help it. Actually, I can't help it. I just choose not to. Tell the truth, Maggie. We got VSA. Oh, VS. Did y'all hear that? I think my turntable was off the track. Did y'all hear that? 
<laughs> Hello, Mulo. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, blessings. The essay says, hi, Maggie. I thought these were stuffed grape leaves, but they're yum regardless. How's the baby? How's, uh, how's my nephew, Benjamin? Y'all remember VSA just had a little baby boy. You sent me a picture. If you want me to share, I will, but I always protect everybody's uh, privacy. Okay, so we've got this head of cabbage left over. Just gonna put this in a Ziploc bag. These were the four corners that we shaved off. So I'm just going to chop this up and uh, we'll make a veggie version. Oh, we need to make a meat version. Let's start on the meat so that can cook because I got something new I wanna try y'all. I'm always doing stuff. All right. I thought about thawing out some ground beef. Aw, Ken says what a gorgeous smile. Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate you. I get a lot of compliments about my smile, but I know it's big. <laughs> when Marcus was like four, he was just looking at me one day. He was like, Mom. I said, what is it? He said, your smile. I said, yeah. He said, it's so big. Thank you. A man says, I smile like an emoji. Whatever. Y'all are here now. Here we go. Okay. Put this in the fridge and let me get out the new stuff. Y'all, I've been meaning to make this. Has anybody ever seen this? Ground beef crumbles. No need to thaw. It cooks in seven to eight minutes. I have never made this before, but we're going to give it a try. Has anybody ever seen this? Who knows where I was at? I'm always finding stuff. But I had the ground beef, you know, the log, and I was like, oh my gosh, by the time I thaw that out. So I was like, let's give this a try. So let's bring the cooktop. All right, let's keep the meat away from the veggies. Um, and we're just going to throw a bunch of Asian seasonings in there. This uh, recipe is a vegetarian recipe. Shout out to the vegetable -tarians. But we got some meat in the class. So we're going to make a meat version for y'all too. Christina would put rice and avocado and crab inside. Ooh, that sounds so good. Oh my goodness. Hello, Kim G. Good to see you again. Yeah, these kids. Shout out to the kids. Still recovering from Alex. Okay. So we got the cooktop here. And I'm just going to get a skillet with a top. Um, I don't know where I got this pound of ground. And it's real beef. But because it's not in a log, it's already crumbled. Is that why it cooks faster? I don't know. Hello, Tracy. You've never seen it before. What a great idea. Let me show you all what we usually have. Okay, so we all probably have these in our freezer. So this is a pound. Can y'all see the plastic wrap is kind of blown up there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> EK says, have fun, live it up. Thank you. So this is what we usually have for ground beef. And y'all know I just got this out of the, the freezer, right? So this, you got to thaw. You can thaw it in the microwave, but I like to thaw either in the fridge or in the sink. Um, but this one is supposed to go from frozen to cooked in seven minutes. Don't threaten me with a good time, so let's try it. Okay, my hand is freezing. Oh. Okay, four minutes has been up. All right, so before we do the ground beef, let's see how our cabbage leaves are. Now be careful anytime you're steaming anything, y'all know there's like a hot pocket in there. All right, so let's see. All right, I'm gonna get a towel and bring it out. And we wanna see if our leaves are nice and pliable. If they are, then we can start the stuffing, all right? So, all right. So I'll just set this here. It's hot. All right, he has tweezers. Well, actually tongs. I have tongs too, so I'm going to get mine. I don't think I've ever used my tongs for cooking. Uh, Burger King says the steak was so good. You're so funny. <laughs> Okay, shout out to the trolls. I have never cooked 
with tweezers. These are actually for my hot towel machine. I like a good spa day, but when you take the hot towels out of the machine, uh, mustard, I'm not a vegan. No, I eat meat. We're just doing a vegetarian recipe today. Um, but I'm dairy free. Yeah, I can eat meat. It's just the cow milk. I love it. It just doesn't love me back. Um, these go into the hot towel machine, which I love a good spa day. So we're going to try and peel them, peel them back. All right, focus. So I wanted to give it a second so I don't burn myself with the steam. Probably should open it away from myself. That would be smart. Okay. All right. Now mine were not, um, how do you say, completely square. All right. I'm gonna put it in my hand. It's still, I can still feel a little bit of that vein. Let me take these out. But let's see about these. Eh, they're soft, maybe more time. The ones, oh, it smells good though, like a nice good steamed cabbage. Those y'all that like a dumpling or anything like that. What I'm gonna do y'all, I'm going to put these back in here. Yeah, these closer to the water are nice and like you could easily, roll those. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put them back in here and I'm going to cover with the plastic wrap and just let them to continue steam. I'll put it behind me. Let's make some meat um, filling and some veggie feeling, filling and we'll roll them up. Um, maybe one more minute in the microwave if you take them out and they're still a little bit firm, but hot. so far, so good. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness yes 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 all right so we are going to there we go all right let's leave that there let it do its thing all right perfect and let's see if this ground beef crumbles will um will do its thing let's get a skillet from the hideaway the good pot storage all right so let's let me just read the instructions because y'all know i don't know so this is what we're going to make and let as it cooks we'll cut some veggies up all right so it says cooks from frozen Pour frozen ground beef crumbles into medium high preheated pan or skillet and then cover it. Doesn't even say to oil it. Cook until brown, stirring up any large pieces, ready in seven to eight minutes, and then drain and season. All right. So let us do that. Plug this up, take the top off. So I'll move this back so I can have some space to cut some veggies. Turn it on medium. That heats up pretty quickly. VSA says, oh, OMG with the steam. When I was a kid, microwave some popcorn and you couldn't wait to smell it up close. You opened the bag and fried your future grandkids' nose hairs on contact. These kids, I'm telling y'all, I mean, we have a lot of fun here, but Safety first, you know, safety and cleanliness in the kitchen is a must. Desiree says, I hide my pans in your oven too. Yeah, I have pans that I cook with for y'all. Ooh, Christina's making manicotti tonight. That sounds yummy. I have pans that I use for y'all and then the struggle skillets because I've taught both boys how to cook. All right, so this is heating up. It feels good to put my hands over the radiant heat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it. It's been in the freezer. I think when I bought it, it was supposed to be crumbled. It's giving me, this is going to sound gross, but y'all know that Dippin' Dots? If meat were Dippin' Dots. All right. So I think it's supposed to crumble out, but clearly I've got a big old block. So I'm going to give this a try and just put the whole thing in the pan and just cook it without any seasoning. Watch the time. All right, so it's literally one big block. And it says cover. All right, so we'll bring it up once that ice melts. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna wash my hands. 
what do we want to put in there the veggie version he's doing carrots he's doing um uh cabbage we'll start cutting up the cabbage all right let me get too close to the cord all right careful when you go from meat to veggie all right so let's chop up we have the corners of the um if i do it here everybody can see okay. we have the corners oh this was the root or as we say in the south the root <laughs> So let's get rid of that. And we're just going to dice up the corners. This could be great if you just have veggies left over. You know, if you have veggies that are looking kind of sad. This could be another great assembly meal for the kids. Y'all know I love assembly meals. And by assembly meals, I mean having lots of ingredients out. Think nacho bar taco bar, pizza, baked potato, getting the kids in the kitchen with you and having them participate in the meal. They actually look forward to eating what they made. And plus, it just gets them comfortable. Both of the boys have been cooking since little hello stew. All right, let's break this up. It's been two minutes. cabbage flying. It's just regular ground beef, y'all. And I'm not going to say it's a gimmick, but you know, the way that it's crumbled like this, the surface area gets to the beef faster to kind of break it down. All right. As opposed to one big log. So I see why. Notice it's going from raw to cooking pretty fast. We've got some frozen pieces, but We'll let this cook, we'll blot, then we'll put like some ginger, and, you know, just kind of make it as Asian inspired as we can. All right, so let's finish our cabbage. If you have carrots, carrots work well. We'll leave these kind of, I can't say it's Julianne, I'm not a chef, um, but I think the little strips are a good shape because we're gonna roll them up in our um, cabbage. So I'm just picking up any pieces. Okay, that's good. Um, I've got green onion, I got mushroom. Let me just grab what I have. I got cilantro, cilantro goes really well. Is this coriander? I have cilantro, I have parsley. I know, I know. I know your produce looks farm fresh. This is what I got, all right? And mushroom. If you like it spicy, these are just canned mushrooms, y'all, but just trying to give you some ideas. If you like it spicy, jalapeno. All right, we'll come back to the veggies in a moment. Move the knife for safety. Let's break up our ground beef. Ooh, Christina says Mega Millions is tonight. Anybody getting a lottery ticket? I always forget. I'm not even, what am I going to do? Here's the thing. I don't go into convenience stores. If they don't have pay at the pump, I drive off. I'm not going in there. Hello, corrupt. Uh, the essay says, beef it up. So the beef crumbles, the cookie crumbles, the beef crumbles are helping it to cook faster. It's been five minutes. So it says it cooks to, in seven to eight minutes. I haven't put any seasoning on here. I just wanted to try this for the first time. In all seriousness, it's kind of expensive. The roll of ground beef maybe like four dollars this pound of ground beef is like seven dollars so but if you come home and you need to cook quickly and you're like ah. all right one little block left to go let it do its thing okay so let's move our um So 
let's get our ingredients together. This could be great for like egg rolls. Um, you played three? Good luck. I hope you win. I think I saw it on a billboard. I was like, ah, oh, what is it, like a billion dollars? You know, if I won the lottery, I'd, I would forget and come in here and start cooking like, oh, do I have to do that? But I enjoy it. All right, so we have some cabbage. This was just the four corners that we cut off. So the steamed cabbage is here. And we're gonna cut some green onion and chop up some cilantro. That's it. Probably mom says your plate should have three colors. So carrot would be good. Bell pepper would be good, like a yellow or red bell pepper. Hello, uh, Roger. So get creative with it. Whatever fresh vegetables that you have that are starting to, y'all know what I mean. We need to use it. When it starts looking like this, it's not bad, but y'all know. Coming through the corn base, <laughs> that's not appetizing, but this is really me at home. Like sometimes the produce looks great. All right, it's been seven minutes. Right, this is full fat uh, ground beef. We're gonna have to block that for real. Usually I do like a lean, lean with it, <laughs> block with it. I know, I know, lean with it, block with it. Sorry, I'm sorry, y'all. I can't help myself. See, and here we go. We got Sheila in the house. Oh, 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 Sheila. I love it when you come to class, Sheila. Okay, had to get that out. Okay, let's cut up the green onion. I'm gonna do a quick chop. It's been eight minutes. I would say, yeah, it cooks. Let me finish one thing at a time, y'all. Let me tend to this beef. I need to really blot this, because that's kind of soupy. And then we'll season it up. And there's really no cooking. Once we fill it up, we're done, right? Because our lettuce leaves or cabbage leaves are already back there. With ground beef, you just wanna make sure all the pink is gone. So there's lots of different ways to drain. I usually drain over the trash. You never wanna drain in the sink. Uh, hello, uh, all right, I'm gonna head out. Um, I usually drain in the trash and I'll show y'all my little janky way. All right, so all I do is I get like a little strainer like this. I hold this over the trash and then literally just pour the meat in here, let the grease drop out, and then I put it back in here. Ooh, Christina's making fresh rosemary garlic bread. That sounds amazing. Have some for me. Hello, unofficial. Thank you so much for being here. All right, y'all, I think we're good. So it did cook with, it went from frozen to cooked in nine minutes for me. So let me just drain the grease out over the trash. So I just shake, pour it all out and then, so it doesn't drip. Just shake, shake, shake. All right. So it's literally like this now. We have our ground beef. I'll taste it first. Let me, uh oh. I'll taste it first. Then we're just going to do some simple um, Asian inspired seasonings and put the top on it, let it sit. All right. So it should just taste like ground beef, taco meat. Mmm, good. At least some salt and pepper. All right, so what do we want to do? I want to do the Greek seasoning, but all right. And I've got some pastes that I want to use. Um, Y'all know the, it's going to be good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, come on, Pepper. Get in there. Give that another taste. And uh, you could do garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, whatever you like. Bill, you love it? Mmm. Bill says, Maggie was 100% the girl dancing in the mirror with the brush microphone. Y'all know it. Head to toe. Mm -hmm. Singing about love songs I didn't know nothing about. Mm -hmm. You love cabbage? Yes, I'm excited. All right, let's do some of these pastes that I have laying around. All right. And we'll do 
little soy sauce, whatever. <laughs> all right, so y'all usually see me using the spice rack, um, you know, all of the dry seasonings. We use those all the time. So you can put whatever you want. Your basic five seasonings, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. If you have those five, you're good to go. But I'm like, yeah, hey, we haven't used these in a while. So you can get these in the grocery store in the uh, produce section. So we're going to put a little ginger in here. If we were doing it old school way, we would grate the ginger. I'm not doing that. We just want to see if these uh, lettuce leaves or cabbage leaves turn out. So we're just going to squeeze how much? Like that much. If you want more, do more. I'm just going to put them all in there. Put everything in there. Put it all in there. So we got ginger. I got cilantro puree. I'm like, I should use this stuff. All right, cilantro. I'm just going to mix it all up. Uh, lemongrass. That sounds very Asian inspired. <laughs> Hello, J-Rob. So let's go with some lemongrass. Y'all see how I buy this stuff? I haven't even used it. And I hate to waste. All right. So lemongrass. That's probably a little goes a long way. <sighs> Love lemongrass. And then you got to have this one. Garlic paste. Y'all see I have used this one. All right. So if you're new at cooking, you don't have a lot of spices or you don't want to do ideally, and I'm sure an authentic Asian cuisine, you're grating the ginger, you're mincing the garlic. You're, we do have some fresh cilantro and uh, all that other stuff. But look, we just want to wrap it up. All right. So I just squeezed maybe like a teaspoon of each. I probably should have the skillet still on. Uh, let's mix it up. Oh, and I'll put some, yeah, let me turn this on. I'll put a little, we'll taste this, then we'll put like a little soy sauce or I'll give you all a substitute for it. Just so our meat has some flavor. If this were a leaner ground beef, I would have, I just turned this on so it'll kind of incorporate everything. If this were a leaner ground beef or ground turkey or ground chicken, I would have put the seasonings in while it was cooking, but then you need to kind of over season because you're going to pour out, you know, some of that fat. But if you have the type of meat, oh, it smells good. If you have the type of meat that you don't have to um, drain, and I think it's going to need more salt. All right, let's give this a little taste and um, some other stuff. I'm just making it up. No idea. But you just think of the flavors that go well with this type of cuisine. Hello, sweet potato pie. Yes, the ginger, put a little soy sauce in there. Ooh, y'all, I got all kinds of stuff in here. Dark soy sauce? I didn't even know I had this stuff. All right, let's stop there, Maggie. I'll be finding all kinds of stuff. Okay, so you can use regular soy sauce. Keep them on, let me turn this down. Kiko Man does make a gluten-free. And that's another thing, y'all. They add gluten. Gluten kind of gives you, you know how bread has that, that pull? They add gluten to like a lot of stuff for the mouth feel so that ice cream is smooth and you end up consuming stuff that you don't really need. Um, I don't know why I bought this, but let's put in some dark soy sauce, probably for a recipe. All right, so we'll just put like a splash. All right. And um, since this is for me, uh, you're making tortellini. All right. Mushroom tortellini. Since this is for me, uh, and I am a lady, I am okay with soy sauce. We don't give soy to the boys or men. So a substitute for y'all. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. When I'm cooking for the boys, this is what I use. Coconut aminos. Okay. So this is a soy-free substitute. Gives you the Asian flavors without soy. All right. So coconut aminos. All right, let's just stir in the soy sauce. I'm going to skip adding salt because the soy sauce already has salt in it. And then we'll just do some fresh vegetables. And we're going to roll these up. And I got to, oh, y'all. Oh, my gosh, just smelling it. Oh, yeah. And it's starting to brown. All right, one more taste. It looks good, nice incorporated. The soy sauce gives it like a little bit darker color. You like Asian cuisine, this could be good. 
One more thing. One more thing. Sesame seeds. Just, just because. Why be regular when you can be extra? Just for a little nuttiness. And if you really want to be fancy, I don't want to have to, but I will. One moment. No, I don't want to. That's That wouldn't look good. Let me try and take this off. You could toast the sesame seeds. Come on. Okay. You could toast the sesame seeds ahead of time for a little bit of um, like a little nuttiness and warmth. I don't have strong hands, y'all. Oh gosh, okay, finally. Get all these ideas and I end up with And just because I want a little bit extra, sorry, soy sauce. And we're done. We're done with the meat. Um, but if you don't like Asian flavors, make it however you want. Make it however you want. Oh my God, it smells so good, y'all. Oh my God. It's the little things, y'all. We're gonna put some fresh cilantro on there. Mom says, taste as you go. The best food has all of the ingredients taste good. Then when you put it together, it tastes great. Oh yeah, <laughs> nailed it. Okay, mm. we're gonna chop up a couple more veggies, just the cilantro and the onion. The brightness really will complement the, um, the savory well. All right, so cabbage leaves are done. Meat is done. Let's uh, cut up our veggies and then roll it up. Roll with it, baby. Uh-huh, you just roll with it, baby. Okay, some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I'm old. I'll be 49 later this year. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and chop up the rest of this sad green onion. Spring onions are great in Asian cuisine. I really should have chopped all of these when I got them. But I just take one when I'm making something and I just get the scissors and literally like into the plate. So the rest of them stand here looking crazy. All right, let's rinse this off. And we'll chop these, get the dead pieces off and get these chopped. Some people separate the green from the white. I use all of it. I don't care. <laughs> it's all good to me. All right, any of these little strangly bits, take that off. I'm so excited, y'all. All right. Chop. If you don't like green onion, um, whatever you have on hand. If you like a bold onion, use a white or a yellow onion. We'll try and do these on the angle so they look all nice. And uh, Red onion would give you a nice color. Carrot. Um, what are some of those Asian vegetables? Bok choy. Um, anything. Just raid your fridge and put those veggies in there. We're not gonna use all of this, but at this point, I'm just gonna cut it all. If you have time to prep your veggies, then you have this ready. Toss it into an omelet, toss it into a soup or salad. All right. And I'm gonna use the, the green for color. And then we're gonna to toss uh, the cilantro. You've got most of 48 left. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, Christina says water chestnuts. That would be great. No, I don't have any water chestnuts. All right, we have our onion. That'll give us like a little kind of crunch. All right, coming together. We have our cabbage. Uh, we have mushroom just from the can. Fresh would be best, but I don't know where we got those from. We had some recipe. I'm here every day, y'all, always cooking something. So there's always something we can throw together. All right, last thing we're gonna do is some cilantro because I wanna put that in with the meat. I think the green would be lovely. Goes great with Asian cuisine. If you don't like cilantro, omit. I know we got 48 left. I'm actually looking forward to 50, y'all. Hello, Cola Fayan. 49 is not old. 
<laughs> Y'all are silly. But you know what I mean. Like, I'm not one of these kids. Or like we tell the kids, I'm not one of your little friends. All right, so we have some. Oh, now this looks like I should be on a magazine with some fresh vegetables. Well, y'all know they look like. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to twist off a bunch and then rinse the, rinse the twisted off part. They say if you wash the whole thing, it spoils faster. So get the section that you want and we're gonna rinse this, all right? Oh, missed that. All right, so that's, but I feel good, y'all. I feel good. I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. If y'all wanna celebrate my birthday with me, hello, Cece. We have um, the Maggie meetup in April. Hello, Elstack, all are welcome. We're having a Maggie Lou meetup. You can come have drinks and appetizers with me and Lou Casey. Go to teachablemomentswithmaggie.com for tickets. And then my birthday, we're always gonna do the Maggie meetup cruise. Y'all can sail away, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Y'all know how it goes. Okay, focus. Let's chop up the cilantro. And I'm gonna do leaves and stem, cause I don't mind. With the herbs, I just try to bunch them up. It's kind of hard cause they're unruly, <laughs> like me and my hair on a rainy day, but whatever, it is what it is. And then try to cut it as best you can. Keep an eye out for fingers. And then once you get to the end, just kind of run your knife through it or chop. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, we are good. Oh my God, the cilantro smells so good. So, so good. Okay. I'm gonna put some of this, I think I wanna put all of it, all of it in the, um, uh, what is that? And here's a hack for presentation save some of your ingredients for the garnish, okay? So we're gonna, I think we're ready to roll, roll it up. Why did I do that? I don't know. All right, let's get the meat. We'll just turn this over and use the other side. So I'm gonna put some fresh cilantro, yeah, on here. I like cilantro, so we'll have some, uh-oh. What am I doing on the inside? Getting excited. So we'll do one more little stir. It's still kind of warm. Give it a taste. So you have the fresh. If you don't like cilantro, use parsley. Use whatever herbs you like. All right, if you want it heavier, more saucy, do some soy sauce. Ah, you never cut green onions at an angle? Yeah, that's what they do to make it look fancy on the bias, absolutely. Happy birthday, Christina's gonna be 53. Happy birthday. If you want, I'll send you some birthday happy mail. All right, let me give this one more taste. I'm always tasting, clearly. But let's give this a little taste with the cilantro going in there. Mm, a little bit more soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Y'all. Oh, coconut aminos, same thing. All right, let's go. Let's roll it up. Get our station together. All right, so let's let me pause it here. Let's watch what he does. See if I can copy. All right, I'll keep that there so it stays warm. So now we have our lettuce, I mean our cabbage leaves. All right, so let me watch the um, preparation. So he's doing veggies. All right. So now we're about to assemble. I'll do like two veggie ones. All right, so we did, we stopped here. So we now have our steamed cabbage. Yes, it's steamed. So that was the, the end pieces, we did that. We have our cabbage. He's gonna core an apple. This is great if you want a little sweet crunch. I'm gonna skip the apple. Man, look at those knife skills. Carrot for more sweet crunch. <gasps> who do we have here? Look who's watching. Green bell pepper. Y'all see how this goes? Just take whatever you have. Got some green bell pepper or red or yellow would be beautiful. So we're gonna put our cabbage leaves down. He's gonna cut his in half. I'm not gonna cut mine. Mine are already small. 
I don't know what that is. Perilla leaf, apple, cabbage, carrot, bell pepper, and roll it up. So this is the vegetable terrian version. So wrap it tightly. I think the presentation is beautiful. And then cut it in half. And those are his vegetable rolls. All right. Oh, he serves them like that with the dipping sauce. Okay. So if you are team vegetarian, put a vegetable in the chat. If you are team meatitarian, put a meat emoji in the chat. Hello, BLJ, one of my day ones, huge uh, sponsor, moderator, just ugh, so happy you're here. Okay, let's get a clean cutting board and roll it up. All right, so we got everything. We have our cabbage leaves. We steam these. Just gonna put it on the towel so it's not making too much noise. All right, and we have our meat. I should have something um, colorful, but I don't. But you all get the get the uh, idea. Red bell pepper, carrot, anything like that. We got Margot's team meat. Uh, Margot says, uh, what are you making? Cabbage rolls. Okay. Rachel is team meat. Jurgen is team meat. Linda's team meat. Okay. So let's do two for the veg for the vegetarians. Ah, BLJ says looks healthy. Your team vegetable. Okay. So in honor of you, let me get um. Well, all right, let me make some space so we can roll these up. Water chestnuts, um, whatever you all have. All right. So I'm going to go down to the bottom, the ones at the bottom. And we steam these in the microwave, four minutes, four minutes. Dougie Fresh, you're on, four minutes. <laughs> four minutes, we steam them in the microwave with a little bit of water, quarter cup of water. So I'm gonna take one from the bottom. They're still kind of warm. And the reason we steam them is so that we could roll them, okay? So let's do a vegetarian one that nobody wants. Y'all know when you have those office parties or you have those meetings and there's always that vegetarian pizza. Everybody goes for the pepperoni. Everybody goes for the cheese pizza. Everybody goes for the meat lovers. And then you see that sad pizza getting hard in the corner because nobody wanted the vegetable pizza. But they're like, well, we got to order it because there's a vegetarian amongst us. <laughs> All right. So we're going in with a little cabbage. Let me actually do little cabbage. All right. Can y'all see? All right, let's do a little mushroom assembly meal, right? Put this out, let the family make their own. Belle is team meat. <laughs> BLJ is team veggie. Lisa wants meat and veggie. Okay, okay, we'll do both. So we've got our lettuce, I mean our cabbage. We have some cabbage on the inside, steamed and unsteamed mushroom. Let's go with the green onion and let's go with some cilantro. I do have some apple, but my apples are green. All right, so I'm gonna try and roll this up kind of tight, like a burrito. Oof, all right. Now, it looks good. I'm just going to, let me plate them. Let's see. I'm just going to plate them. I'm going to put the seam side down so that they don't start unrolling. We'll put a little piece of cilantro. Then we'll garnish with like some sesame seeds. I know y'all know about that veggie pizza. Oh, minus the mushrooms. Okay, no mushrooms for Lisa. Here y'all come with Lisa and the grocery list. Y'all know how you do me. You come through with your requirements. I'm over here. <laughs> All this fooling about. Y'all know how you, can I have mine extra crispy? Y'all know how you get. Then I'm over here sweating like, oh my God, this is a lot. I don't want mushrooms. That's how the kids are. I don't like tomatoes. I want tomatoes. Focus, Maggie. Okay, so let's make one more vegetarian. This one is kind of small. So let's do one without the mushrooms. 
for Lisa. What did she have last time? What did Lisa say? What was it? Y'all had me stressed out with the mustards or something else y'all wanted? Okay, no mushroom. I'll eat it. Let's go in with a little cilantro. And the order doesn't matter. It's all going to the same place. And the green onion. All right. So we're just going to roll. But this could be a nice snack if you, you know, feel like crunching on something, but you don't want to eat too many calories. So it's giving us kind of like that dumpling. All right. So let's put a piece of cilantro there. All right. So we got two vegetable ones. Okay. Everybody happy now? Let's go in with the meat. All right. So let me get a little spoon. All right. This is not going to hold as much. How many, do I even want to ask how many of these are y'all eating? See, I'm already going in with two spoons. Greedy. Let's put some cabbage in here. No mushroom. Green onion. All right. Let's see. And then you just kind of fold it over and kind of bring the LJ in the chat. I'm going to put you up on the board. Oh my goodness. So incredibly generous. Thank you. No comment, no question. Just the pure love of the snacks. I've had the honor of meeting Brandon, talking to him, running ideas by him. He's such a supporter and uh, I'm so incredibly grateful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me get you up on the board. In this class, this is the whiteboard. So we have $100 uh, from Mr. B L J. Thank you. And I'm gonna be, I'm coming back out to LA for YouTube. So I know that's not where, where you are, but yes, thank y'all for shouting him out. Looks good. Good night and happy birthday. Okay, y'all. So now we got some bigger pieces. Let's go in for more. So we're going in with the meat. I'm gonna put it this way. But this is a low carb, no carb. All right, Lisa, you got yours. Let me go in with my mushrooms now. But yeah, just trying to, some green onion, some cabbage. So you all can see, and we're gonna roll it up. But yeah, the steaming really works. That way you can roll it and it doesn't um, tear <laughs> like that. All right, I'm just gonna keep going until I make this plate and then we'll get to the end and we'll cut one, a good cross section. I think I had like eight. All right, oh, that's a big one. Ah, about the size of my hand, greedy. All right, team meat. I'll do the last one for y'all. That's a meat lovers one. Now with these, it's like you want to be light on the ingredients because if you overfill them the way we want to do, then it's hard to roll them. But if you have like a really big head of cabbage, let me cross, let me cut this open for y'all so you can see. And we'll cut it at an angle. Oh, falling apart, but it looks good. I can't wait. The sweet from the cabbage, the savory from the meat, the creaminess from the mushroom. All I need is a dipping sauce and some hot sauce. Mm. Mm. Greedy. Hold on, y'all. I need to finish. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's do. I think we can do two more. All right, <laughs> sorry, y'all, I got distracted. Mm -hmm. It is good. It's really good. Um, it's reminding me of the P.F. Chang lettuce wraps but they have like the crispy, like rice noodle-y things in there. They have like sauces, 
Um, I think it's ground chicken that they use. You don't even have to roll it, y'all. You could just make it like a taco boat. I feel this one too much. All right. And we'll do one just meat. But you all get the picture. The smaller you make them, the tighter you can roll them. All right, so we are done. We are going to, I think I have some sesame. You do soy sauce. If you like heat, that chili crisp. Marcus tears that stuff up. All right, so not perfect, but let's put some cilantro on here for a garnish. Let's do some um, sesame seeds. Jurgen is happy. You want the meat, <laughs> the meat version. All right, let's clean up, take a picture. Let's do some. Oh, that comes out kind of a lot. <laughs> we got some sesame seed on there. All right. So what I'm thinking, this is actually a salad dressing, but this is Bragg's, you know, the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Y'all are laughing at me. Uh, making dinner something different. Absolutely. They make a ginger sesame sauce. You could do um, what did we put spring rolls in? Y'all know this stuff. I have the sugar-free version. Uh, sweet chili sauce. If you like a duck sauce for your egg rolls, you could do this if you like sweet. All right, so let's move this. Not knock that over. Let's move everything out of the way. We are done. We're going to take a picture. Um, if you want sweet chili, let me know if you want me to dip it in that. If you want ginger sesame, let me know if you want me to dip it in that. So just going to get a nice little picture and we are done. This is how my channel started. I would just kind of recreate all kind of recipes. I love cilantro y'all. So I'm going to put it everywhere as a garnish, all of it. Um, I would make these recipes and then I would just do this stuff on my own and post the finished product. And people would say, did you make that? So now I go live with y'all to show you Yes, we made this. All right. And just give you some ideas. I did the Asian flavor one. You can do whatever meat and veggies you have on hand. You can do um, extra cilantro. All right, so we got that. Uh-oh. What do y'all want? Looks delicious. Thank you. Hello, in home. Hello, fashion. Hello, buzz light. Gotta try both. Leanne says try both. Why do I even ask y'all? Okay, you got it. You got it. You got it. Okay, you didn't ask for that. I know. I know. I just have this soundtrack in my head. Something's wrong, but like I said, y'all keep coming back. You signed the disclaimer. All right. <laughs> so let's go in with some apple ginger sesame dressing. All right, so that's going to give us some tang. And then sweet chili if you like a little sweet heat. All right, so let me take a picture of just our cabbage rolls since this is what we made. Uh-oh, knocking stuff over. All right. Get close to your food. Oh my gosh, y'all, that's beautiful. Oh, we made it. Take some with the flash, some without the flash. That's what Caitlin taught me. Caitlin, my photographer, will be at the Maggie Lou meetup. So y'all will be able to meet her and we'll have professional photography. Hello, Ray. And then I'll do a quick little video because Marcus is mom. You need trending audio and voiceovers. Look, this is a lot, all right? And then I'll do one more picture with the sauces. All right, y'all, let's taste it. All right, I'm going to go in for the vegetable one first because this recipe was for vegetarian. All right, y'all. So your cabbage rolls are ready. You can eat them plain. The meat is seasoned, so it has flavor. But I got that flavor for your ear. I know. I'm not cool, okay? Never have been, never will be. All right, let's go in. Okay, that's a meat one. 
Where are the sad vegetarian ones? Y'all know, shout out to the vegetarian pizza. And nobody wants, still in the break room, it's time to go home. Don't nobody want that vegetarian pizza until somebody's like, I'll take it to the kids. All right, so this one is vegetarian. I'm gonna try it plain first. Mmm. Mmm. Very good if you like vegetables, raw vegetables. And I like onion, but the green onion is very strong. I can see why they would put carrot and apple in here, but you know, it's very good. Let's go in with the sweet chili. Give that a try. It's like a refreshing salad on a roll. Mm. Yes. Okay. Sweet chili, giving me a little heat. It's good. All right, let's go for the other vegetarian one. And let's try the, okay. We're gonna try the um, sesame ginger. Oh my God, sop it up in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's not good etiquette. I should not be reacting that way. Mm. If you like Thai cuisine, like with a peanut sauce, this has got a little nuttiness to it. If you like that, this has got like a sweet heat. I'm gonna do both. Okay, your unsolicited etiquette tip. Since I'm eating by myself, I can double dip. If you're sharing, eating with others, you would pour a little bit onto your plate and then only dip from your plate, all right? You would not do this if you are in mixed company. Together, so good. All right, last one. I like them together. Mm. Y'all, this is good. Great way to, if you're tired of salads, if you're tired of just forking at a salad, this is like a salad finger food. Mm. Mm. All right, going in with the meat. Last one. All right, so this one's got meat. I'm gonna do savory first. Zippity doo dah. Mm. Y'all, it's just good. This is my dinner. If I had to pick, I would go with sweet heat. Mm. So excited. Because the vegetables by themselves are so like cool and crisp and I don't wanna say bland, but kind of neutral. So this is a great vehicle for soy sauce, for duck sauce, for hoisin sauce, for oyster sauce, Asian inspired flavors are usually heavy on the sauce. And so it's good to have something that's a little bit mild. But for me, hands down is both of them together. So this will be the last one going in with the savory, with the meat, get up on there. All right, everyone. Mm. We're gonna go ahead and dismiss the sesame seeds and everything. I just wanna make sure it's not in my teeth. Looks good. Thanks everyone. I really wanted to try the technique for the uh, steamed cabbage. So you can absolutely make this. If you've got a head of cabbage, instead of struggling with these, uh, four minutes in the microwave, four minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on. Four minutes, quarter cup of water under plastic wrap and they get nice and pliable. And you notice how they've stayed this way. This would be a great like appetizer, um, party, you know, whatever. If you're trying to eat healthy, have fun with it. I absolutely love it. 
All right, so we are done for tonight. Today is Tuesday. Um, so I make food and femininity content. It's about 50-50 now. So today is food, clearly. Tomorrow will be a femininity stream. Tune in 9 p.m. Eastern, me and Lou Kaisley. We have been going over the Risa Tisa. Hello, Billy on TikTok. Welcome. We have been going over the Risa Tisa uh, saga on TikTok. And uh, from a perspective, I feel like I have like green in my teeth. From the perspective of what can we learn from it, we are up to episode, I think we've done four episodes. So we are watching it and we are reacting as older women, teaching the young what kind of red flags could have been avoided. Excuse me. So that will be tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm here every day. So thank you all so much for being here, for the likes, for the engagement. Thank you for making dinner with me. But I would be remiss if I didn't shout him out. On your way out, please put BLJ in the chat. The $100, thank you for the flute out fund. Thank you for the groceries. Thank you for the support. Y'all, we are going worldwide. I'm going back to LA. I'm going to London. I've been in not, Surrey. I've been invited to my first polo match. Lots of good stuff happening over here. So I uh, take you all with me everywhere and I'm so grateful. All right, let's go ahead and dismiss. Thank you so much, TikTok. See you all tomorrow. Thank you so much, Instagram. Thank you for the hearts and share. See you all tomorrow. And over here, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Thank you all so much. See you all tomorrow night for more Risa Tisa. All right, class is dismissed.